Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jay, and if you're new, uh, please consider hitting that like button. So uh, I've been out all day running errands. I look like not the cutest. I don't have eyebrows on, and I don't have any makeup on. Um, but I need to jump in the shower because tonight we have date night. I'm sporting my Kenny Chesney t-shirt. I have two of these because this one I bought at the concert and I got makeup on it and it stained my shirt. So then I just cut it and I use it for like cleaning or walking. And then I have a new one that I used to use for going out but now it's also dirty. So where are you? So there you are. So. My name is Jay, and today we have um, an Ulta mini haul, if you will. I went to the store. It was yesterday. I was feeling really, I wasn't feeling really good. I was feeling like crappy, and I just needed a little bit of retail therapy. So, this is my receipt. No, you can't look at it. But I just wanted to show you what I got. Um, so, first things first, I got these. Uh, beauty sponges from Real Techniques. Real Techniques. I have bought these before. Um, I've never actually had the little mini ones, but I figured that would be really good for like hitting here and here. Um, I do have beauty sponges, but um, full disclosure, they're from before the pandemic because uh, I didn't wear any makeup pretty much during the pandemic. And so I picked up the old ones that hadn't even been used and I did like put some Dawn and I washed them and I've been and I've been using them for about a month but honestly it's like you know what I think I need to trash those because who knows what kind of stuff is growing inside the sponge itself I don't know it's just I thought about it and I was like I need to get some new ones I got these um, hair ties this is for full and thick hair so obviously you guys know I do not have full and thick hair. I'm working on it. I'll talk to you guys a little bit about, I'll talk more about that in a little bit, but um, I do not have full and thick hair. So these are not for me, but look at that stretch y'all. I, I have some like these, but they're freaking like itty bitty. They're for my hair. This is probably too big for me. Ah! And this is from the brand Typey or Hairology. I'm not sure which one it is. There's Typey. And then there's Hairology. So I'm not sure what the brand is. Mm, okay. Uh, if you guys know me, I am I am only 34 and I have old lady hands. Like, I have old hands. Not no offense to old ladies. I'm, uh, I'm, there you go. Foot in mouth. Foot in mouth. Um, but like, even though I do put lotion on, I feel like I have like, um, my hands are very aged. So I saw this and they only had one or else I would have picked up like two or three of them. This is from Sally Hansen and it's called a hydrating hand mask. Um, so you're supposed to stick your hands in there for I'm assuming 10, 15 minutes. I don't know. And yeah, 15 minutes. And then you're supposed to have like young hands. So I don't know what to do. I do put lotion on. I'm not like a nasty person, but whatever. Um, I have... I have a full brand new one of these. This is like a little baby one. Again, this is not for this right here and this right here is not for me. But I love this product. I love the way it smells. After I style my hair, I like to put a little bit in and it just smells. I always get compliments on it. It's a really it's called a Bedhead After Party. It's a good product if you have not tried it. Um I got some setting spray because again like now that I'm beginning to pick up my makeup routine again, I'm like finding out that, oh shoot, this is expired, or oh shoot, that I'm almost empty, or oh shoot, this is, this is nasty. <laughs> um, I also picked up this little Anastasia Soft Glam 2. It's like a baby palette, because there's a one that's bigger. <sighs> but these things are not cheap. <laughs> So I bought this one. These are the colors that are that come in it. Yeah. Don't focus on my face. Focus on this. Don't focus on my face. Focus on this. Um. Yes. 
so it looks so beautiful and unfortunately I won't be able to freaking play in it because womp, it's not for me but it looks so good so it looks so good um I have been using this the Jergens brand uh, self tanning lotion like the gradual self tanning lotion I'm not getting there fast enough I'm not getting there fast enough so I got this Ulta Beauty bronze glow self tanning it's a mousse so again don't look don't focus on me so hopefully let me see if you can see my leg okay here's my leg I'm trying to get darker guys actually now that I think about it I probably should have gotten darker than that oh well you live and you learn and so I got this little this I think this was like only $3.99 this is like $15.99 I believe so that I can be like a, a bronze goddess, you know? I'm so excited. Um, most of my mascaras are dried out. I've been doing the best to like, just like make them last. Um, I have very little eyelashes, so I got this. I've never even heard of this brand, but I, I was looking for a different brand, but they didn't have the mascara I wanted. <sighs> Whatever. The brand is called Essence. So I got this, uh, it's a, it's a lash primer, volume booster. So this goes in first and then they had a bunch of other mascaras, but I figured volume, uh, oh, like volume mascara, waterproof. So I will be tr trying these out. <sighs> Shoot. Um, I also purchased this. I love the brand Pacifica. It's like vegan, cruelty free. Uh, what is it? Where's the thing? I don't know. It says, I know all the, okay, whatever. This is for a normal oily combination. It's for all the skin types. I've never tried this before and I will not be trying it <laughs> because it's not for me either. <laughs> it's called Clean Shot. What, what drew my attention was the name Clean Shot. I was like, yes, Clean Shot. It's like a shot. But obviously, I'm sober now, so I'm not taking no shots. But yes, give me a shot of beauty. <laughs> but again, it's not for me. It's hyaluronic and flowers, a plus rose, and it's for damaged and dry skin. And it's a serum. So that looks pretty cool. I hopefully, hopefully, hopefully this person likes it. This I got for myself. I sure did. It's from Peach and Lily and it's glass skin refining serum. So like you know like how they advertise that like Koreans have like the glass skin. Obviously they don't have this going on. And, you know they have like the clean clear skin and it looks like glass. Well this serum essentially is supposed to give you that hydrating glass skin. We will see how well that works. Um... I've heard tons of good things about it. I'm like two or three years late on the game. But this e.l.f. brand putty primer, I'm gonna try it on right now. Again, I wanted to do this before I jumped in the shower so I can, you know, get beautiful and not have to like, you know, I don't wanna play with makeup after I'm already clean. So there's the e.l.f., this is my first time trying it. I just got the matte putty. They have like luminous putty. No smell. So this is a primer. So it's white, but if you see, it's mostly clear. Don't focus on me. It's mostly clear. Okay. I'm gonna put it right here, or just on one side or whatever see how excellent this is but uh I think the first person I remember I think I believe the first person I remember reviewing this and giving it their stamp of approval was Jeffree Star this was before he was canceled <laughs> I think this was like right before a little after he came out with the conspiracy palette um I also purchased two foundations this is a face tape 
It's a foundation by Tarte, high performance naturals. I don't know. It's a full coverage matte finish, waterproof, hyaluronic hydrates. So actually, this is in deep golden. I know everything's backward in the camera. Just trust me, it says deep golden. So I've never tried this foundation. Hopefully it's not too dark. Oh, it's a pump. I, I assumed because it was like this, it was gonna be like a stick, but no, it's a little pump. Ooh. That's the color. <laughs> All right. All right, let's just, let's just, okay, that's gonna be freaking dark. Is there any way I can blend this in, guys? <sighs> Is there any way I can blend this in? Oh my goodness. Maybe I put too much. <laughs> Maybe if I just put a little bit. Maybe if I just blend it out. Oh my gosh, and literally that wasn't even a full freaking pump and a whole bunch came out. Oh my God, la sangre de Cristo. <laughs> yes, giving you real time, giving you content, giving you content creator realness over here. See, again, this is why I need to take a shower after I play with makeup. <laughs> oh heck no. I mean, you know what, I'm gonna keep it because who knows, maybe with the tan that I give myself, it might not be too, too off. I know I'm not supposed to stretch my eye out, guys. I'm sorry, I'm just freaking out now. I have another foundation that I purchased. That's why I'm not trying to spread it all over. It's not too bad, depending on how tan I get with this down here. It may not be too terrible and if I don't put the whole pump just like a little bit maybe that'll work let me know if you're interested in seeing how that works out I'm gonna have to blend it like in my hairline or something you know kind of make it look a little natural maybe with a little bit of bronzing powder or something see it's not be honest, is it too terrible or are you interested in seeing if I can work it, if I can make it work out? I don't know. So, well, this shade was what? Deep Golden. All right. And this is the Shape Tape. This is a concealer. So this one, the other one was a foundation. This is more of a concealer. And I got it as close to my natural color so whenever I don't want to really wear foundation I just want to cover up all of that so hopefully this is closer to my natural skin color all right y todo va a estar bien everything will be all right the whole world's in his hands the whole world's in his hands In the darkness and the trial He's faithful and he's true See, that's not bad If I like, like, like on days where I don't want to wear makeup, you know But I just don't want like my freaking things to show I know this is not the right color, guys, I know Don't shh, shh, I said shh <laughs> Yeah, I know, that wasn't the right color I just wanted to see how good it covered, how well the coverage was, how con how well it concealed, how well this concealer concealed. <laughs> yeah, see, if I don't wear this foundation and I just want to go, what's it called, bareback, if you will, this is actually a pretty good concealer when I don't want to wear foundation. Okay, now, last but not least, the reason I went to Ulta was because months ago I purchased a foundation by Juvia's Place. And I think the, the, um, do you have a booger? No. The shade that I purchased was Ibiza. I, or Ibiza, I-B-I-Z-A. And again, like it was, I mean, like we couldn't try it on or we couldn't get a tester. So I just purchased it. 
and when I got home oh my gosh I love the coverage a little bit goes a long way but it was too light so I went back finally months later because like I've been making that foundation work you know I put it on and then I bronze it up you know so that I could wear it um, but you know I don't always have time for that sometimes I just want to put it on and then peace out so I took my I, I took the foundation and I went kind of like I saw where I bought it and I went a couple I think two or three shades darker and I ended up with Aruba 510 Aruba so this is what I went to the store for so we will see how good how close um, <laughs> I was squeezing it and it has this. I was like, <laughs> okay, got a little bit, got a little bit. A dot is a lot. Did anybody else used to say that for glue or your teacher used to tell you that for glue? Like, don't like, whoosh. She'd be like, a dot is a lot. All right. Now again, this this Juvia's Place concealer, it's full coverage. You need just very little. This is probably all I need. If not, it might be a little too much for only this half a face. I love this con this uh, foundation. I just unfortunately got a one that was like way white. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and use these simply because this formula is thick and I don't want to use my hands because the formula is thick and it's going to like smear everywhere all right I'm gonna use a setting spray real quick right. I'm excited hopefully it matchy matches see oh, I think this is still too yellow I just didn't want to go too dark because boom this is what I end up with right I don't know maybe this is a better I mean it says it's darker than the one I have so I just didn't want to have to work super hard for it and so, you know not every day you want to work hard to like look decent sometimes you just want to like just like put it on and just like go. Is that even a thing? He's got the whole world in his hand. Oh, so that's pretty good. I don't have to work with it too, too much. See? He's got the whole wide world in his hand. I actually like that color. So tonight for date night, I'm going to try out this one. And um, if I remember, I will, after the date's done, I'll show you how I think the foundation held up. We're going to go eat some Persian food. Oh, I love Persian food. I actually think I like that color a lot. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Guys, I don't know why I do that. I'm so lame. Okay, so that's my haul for Ulta. Before you go, I have some empties that I emptied this past week and a half. It's only three things. So I emptied out this Laura Mercier. It's old AF. There's probably just like the tiniest, tiniest little bit. I probably won't purchase. I won't purchase it again because I like the air spun. Uh, yes. I just like this foundation. I like this uh, the, again. The Juvia's Place. Pick a uh, find your find your color, your shade, and you'll love it. But anyway, uh, I would just probably use air spun or. NYX or any other settings of powder. I don't, I personally don't see what's the big thing with a Laura Mercier powder. This is from the company Shea Moisture. It's a papaya vitamin C serum. 
and um, I liked it. I liked it. I just, I just drip, 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 and uh, I just, um, it's like an oil. It's all, but it's for all skin types. But even though it, you would might think it's oily, um, after maybe five, ten minutes, your skin absorbs it, and your and it's no longer greasy. So I like it. You know, it feeds your skin. And I just finished this. It's from the brand Votala or Votala. It's a hair serum for hair growth. Um, I noticed that I was getting lots of bald spots and my hair started to recede. So I told my husband, you gotta hook me up. So he bought me this. He bought me another hair serum. He bought me a hair growth shampoo. They're all different brands though. And then he got me some hair. It's, it's not biotin, but it's for hair growth. A pill that you take every day. So, sorry, I have something in my eye. So for the past seven weeks or something I've been taking it religiously because I'm like oh gosh I need to get I need to get a, I, I need to get in front of this issue and I don't know if you can tell but also to I don't know if you can tell well my hair's when it's straight you can tell it's growing and um, if also too I have a lot of new growth right here around my hairline because recently I've been concentrating here because I've been noticing that my hair is trying to recede and I'm like, oh no, devil, no. <laughs> you best not. So I've been um, applying that and I finished this. And I, and actually the other day I was doing this to my hair and I was like, mom, I feel my hair thicker. I feel my hair thicker. So yeah, I look kind of crazy because this side looks like weird. But I really like this side. I'm so excited. So see, I'm, I was like losing a lot of hair right there. Plus, I have a bad habit of pulling it out. So, how long have we been together? 21 minutes. I'm gonna try to see if I can't speed it up or cut things out. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for spending some time with me. Consider subscribing and leave a comment. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, this is um, after my date with my honey. Um, of course, I have a full face of makeup on. It's obviously faded because I have my mask on. See, old hands. But I really like the shade. The foundation, I already know I loved. But the shade's not too bad. I had to blend it down. Uh, of course, maybe the next time I end up getting another foundation, I'll get a shade a little bit darker. Just one more notch. But I really like the way this foundation looks. It's a lot better than the other one. So, yeah.